Hey, welcome back. Today's video is going to show how you can use texture and the overlapping of multiple paper textures in kind of parallel with each other, in conjunction with each other, on top of each other to create a unique surface to paint on top of. Um, this first two minutes of the video is just going to be demoing that process in uh, probably, I don't know, it's sped up like 10 times. And so it's really fast. And then um, after the quick two minutes, I'll show you kind of step by step how I do it. The whole video is probably going to be eight minutes long, so not a big time investment. But you can see that the painting I'm actually doing is with the oil brush with the settings that I love. And you can see those there. Um, but the unique feature of this, vi this video is seeing how um, an artist can play with the surface in a really neat way. Um, pretty similar to traditional media and you can I think you can create a lot more um, uniqueness with something in, in art rates that I almost never use and I want to thank um, one of uh, the patreon supporters for for suggesting this idea the question was how do you use multiple textures can you use multiple textures in the setup of your painting or in the actual you know the process of your painting and and you can um, the only thing that I found as sort of like a ground rule for it is you're gonna get the best bang for your buck on the on layer one that's where the texture is really gonna be heavily influenced by whatever paper texture you use so the mark you make whether it's with a pencil or pastel or watercolor or oil brush is gonna be picking up a lot of that texture on layer one. On the layer two, three, four, five, I found things were a little different. So um, best bang for your buck, this is layer one. Um, and you can see how uh, I was able to get a really unique look for this background without changing my brush. It was just about changing my surface. And unlike traditional media, you know, with, with ArtRage, you can change your surface at will at any point in the painting. So. That said, let's check out the demo, which is just a couple minutes to show you how this works. Here's a really quick tip for Art Rage. Um, let's say that you want to do something with texture and you want to have maybe even different textures on different parts of the picture. Let's show you how you can do that. So here I have the essential canvas, canvas texture. So you go to canvas settings, canvas, essential canvas and that's what you have here and I'm just using some watercolor and notice how cool this is that the watercolor is filling into the low kind of valleys in the texture of this canvas and the high mar high parts of the canvas are staying canvas white and that is really how it would work if you were using watercolor on canvas so it's very very cool um, now let's see uh, what we can do now if we take our canvas setting and we switch it to um, actually maybe let's switch it to like watercolor paper now notice how the that texture of the mark that I put down stays right um, and then how different this is so now it's picking up the watercolor texture and you can see on the edge where it's pooling and stuff right and it's blending into and you painting right on top of the already existing texture so this is a pretty interesting way to utilize texture in art range. And let's do this one more time. Um, we're going to go to maybe the special and um, here we'll just do the concrete, which is always kind of a weird uh, texture, especially with the watercolor. It's a cool way to get um, kind of like a, a spray splatter effect almost. Um, it's one of the more interesting ways to get really kind of unexpected and bizarre textures. Um, and I really like it. So just a quick example to show how not only is it possible to switch your canvas texture on the fly, but that those textures can create interesting combinations when applied together. And especially here where you have watercolor on top of watercolor with two different surfaces. Um, this effect is incredibly cool for doing something like if you are a traditional watercolorist and you've ever used like uh, saran wrap um, 
to kind of stick to the top of the the water on top of the watercolor while it's wet and then you pull it back and you get these really cool textural sort of um, uh, reliefs almost that that happen after the fact that's kind of what you see happening here it's a really really neat effect so then I'm gonna go just so we can kind of see what this looks like I'm gonna turn Let's just go to concrete, choose it. To, oh, I mean, not concrete, but uh, just basic paper. And then you can see what it looks like without any of that background texture of the surface. So um, really, really neat. Uh, this can be done on individual, like on one layer, or it can be done on different layers on top of each other. Um, there won't, you won't get the interaction if you do it on two separate layers, but it's still a really cool effect. Um, I just thought that this was... A useful tip and uh, just wanted to thank a Patreon supporter for uh, the idea. I mean, this is a really great idea to do a quick video on the impact and usefulness of different textures from the canvas in the canvas setting used in one painting. So you don't have to use the same canvas or canvas texture for the whole painting and you can adjust that as you wish. Um, I can think of a lot of cool examples. Let's say um, you wanted to do something like in the sky that had you know one texture and then maybe in the in the forest with a different texture and then maybe in the end you you kind of go over everything at the end with like a, a unifying texture it would be worth exploring um, I think it's a fun way to play with art rage in in a different uh, kind of from a different perspective or avenue because Oftentimes we think about brush and brush heads and the stamp of the brush and the texture of the brush, but, but we can be just as creative with the canvas itself. So this video um, is, is not really uh, much to look at so much. I think from a visual standpoint, it's, it's kind of, you know, not all that exciting, but from the standpoint of like what you can do with this, I think it could be really, really cool. So you guys, um, that's all I had for you today. I wanted to say thanks for checking out the channel. This was a really, really quick one. And um, yeah, best wishes. <laughs>